everyone. This is Faith from faithsbizacademy.com and I am very excited to share with you this new lovely fairy printables pack. Okay, so if you are in my Canva templates vault, of course, you're getting automatic free access to all new templates and trainings added every four to six weeks into the vault membership. Okay, uh, now in this particular package, we have over around 120 pages of printables. I really had lots of fun creating them and I find them really lovely. In fact, I've already printed some out and I want to show you. Um, this video is also to help you kind of identify how you can actually customize it. Um, and of course, if you don't want to make any changes to it, you can just download as PDF and then upload to sell it either on Etsy or any of your website. Of course, when it comes to selling on Etsy, you're strongly recommended to make changes to it so that it's more unique to your shop, okay? Um, let's just start with, because you have access to the Canva templates, right? The minute you click on it, you, this is what you will see. So typically, I like to make a copy, okay? I don't really like to, of course, once you start using the template, Whatever changes that you make will not affect the master copy, okay? But as a good practice, what I usually do if I were to open up any templates, I will usually start by making a copy. So go to file and make a copy. Okay, so just some information. Um, the graphics that I use in this particular package are actually purchased from uh, OxyP Design. So these fairy, gra fairy girls clip art actually come with master resale rights, which is why I'm also able to use these graphics in this template and sell it, sell the template to you. Of course, there are, I mean, the clip art graphics pack itself has a lot more elements to it just to let you uh, see them in my upload section. We've got lots more. And what I did was I actually took some butterflies to actually create seamless digital papers and then I incorporated them into this particular printables pack. And we've got a lot more elements which I did not use in this graphics pack. So if you do want it, you can use my affiliate link to actually purchase it, okay? Now, uh, let's start with this one. This is actually a gift tag, okay? Um, I just want to show you how I did this. Okay, so what happened is here, this is actually a 2 by 3 inches printable gift tag, okay? But let me, if I were to just delete it, what you're seeing is this actually a frame. This is actually a frame, okay? It's not just a simple rectangle shape. It's actually a frame. So I went to find it under elements and why did I use the frame? Because it really depends on what kind of design you want. If you want to use an image that you just want to literally drag and drop, then using grids or frames are a great way to do it because it um, because it automatically fills up the space very easily, right? Um, but if, for example, if you're using single images like these, they may not always be good to actually drag and drop into a grid or a frame. Okay, let me show you what I mean. Now, this one is a frame, right? So when I drag and drop the digital paper I made, there you go, and I double click on it, I can resize it to actually, and move it around to showcase different parts of the image that I want to, okay? So that's how I did it using the frame. However, if I were to actually put in this mushroom house in there, part of it gets uh, cropped out. Okay, so it might not be ideal because I may not be able to see the, the entire image that I want to showcase, right? So in this particular case, sometimes it's not always ideal to use the frame. But in this situation, because I'm dragging in the digital paper, it's very easy. Just click, drag, double click on it to resize and you can click and drag to move it around as well so i can actually increase the size if i want the butterflies to appear larger okay so these are grids and um same same thing for you if you want to keep the grids all you have to do is upload another digital paper for now let me just drag and drop something else right here like this watercolor drag and drop and there you go so this is very um, easily customizable okay you can just use the templates and then after that you can create other gift tags as well and if you want to multiply this click and drag ctrl d to duplicate and then just ctrl d to duplicate again okay so now you notice that there are three different variations the white background the black background and the purple background right so how do i do that there's one thing to note um, this particular butterfly digital paper, as you can see, has P is in PNG file. It has a transparent background. So when I drag and drop 
um, if I were to change the background of the paper, like now, you would see that it takes the background color, right? So similarly, when I drag and drop this image into the grid, it takes the background of the grid. Now, the good thing now is there are two options here. This black swatch refers to the outline. So I can also change the outline if I want to. And then now you see it has a pink outline instead of a black one. And when you click on it again here, right here, this is transparent background. So if you click on this particular color swatch, you can change it and therefore you're changing the background of the image. Once again, it only works if your the image that you drag in has a transparent background. Okay, otherwise, you know, the background color is not going to show, okay, which is why I chose the black because it makes the, um, the butterflies actually stand out. Okay, so that's that. Once again, once you're happy with that, you can click Ctrl D to duplicate to make multiple copies of uh, whatever design that you have. Okay, so this one, instead of the black background, you see here it's a light purple, so I can also change it to gray. Okay, so this is how you can change or just drag and drop a different image into it. Okay, and here we've got uh, bookmarks that are two by five inches. If you want to know what is the dimension, all you have to do is kind of click it a little bit, drag and drop, uh, drag it a little. Now you see that the W is two and H is 5.3. So this particular project under file, you would see that the dimensions is under US letter, which is in inches, right? 8.5 by 11 inches. So all the dimensions that you see of the elements are also in inches, okay? So if you just drag, you realize that, oh, it's actually 2.5, all right? So this one, I actually used the grid, but um, here the fairies do look pretty nice, but this one, this is not a grid because you see the mushroom is just an image right here. So if you don't like it, you can delete that. If you have other beautiful graphics that you want to use, you can just click and uh, arrange it inside, okay? So I left it uh, pretty generic without any words because I think this theme, right? These fairies, they are beautiful on their own. And if you want to print it out, it can also be something that the person, the user can actually write on as a little gift. And even these, even though uh, the intention is for them to be like bookmarks, you can also use them as long vertical uh, gift tags. That's also possible, right? So if let's say I want that, maybe I have a fairy themed birthday party, and then I have more of these fairy graphics, and I'm just going to put it like this. And then after that, I can even say something like, uh, thank you for coming or um, happy birthday. Okay, so I left the space blank, which allows you like kind of flexibility um, to actually add on any designs or fonts, words that you like. Okay, so just to give you an idea of what you can do. All right, now this one, this is also grids. If I were to double click on it, you see that this, because there is a frame inside, uh, and therefore, I can actually double click and reveal the image in it. And then I can just click and drag to showcase different parts of it. Okay, so these are just um, different ways to do it. And once again, the mushroom is just an image in the rectangle itself. And here we've got grids, we've got the butterflies. And then we've got an entire set of like stationary printables because, you know, these are actually great as single page printables to sell even on Etsy or even on your own website. And if you actually have, um, like right now in this particular project itself, we have got like 120 pages. Um, you can always extract a few pages and give them away for free as a lead magnet, compile them into different packages. For example, because we've got uh, just the butterflies, we've got the fairies, right? And you see that we've got just uh, blank ones, blank notes, and also lined notes. So you can also sell them as separate objects or separate uh, products, right? So you can sell one set of uh, fairy themed blank notes. You can sell one set of fairy themed lined notes. And you can also sell fairy themed to-do lists. And I've also included daily planners and uh, weekly planners as well as monthly planners and smaller notes cards. Okay, so here um, is very simple, but you can see that generally there's a color theme going on, the gray, the, the light gray, the pink, and the, and the black. Okay, so um, once again, it's really easy to customize because if you don't like the, um, 
digital paper, you can always click and drag something else that you have. Okay, another digital paper that you can just click and drag in it. Okay, something like this. Um, and then we've got these. So these are movable elements. If you don't like it on this side, you can always change it around. Okay, make some changes or you want to make it more fancy, you can just duplicate the images and just add them on like this. Okay, so just to give you some ideas to help you get going so that even if you're still using the same set of graphics, you actually end up with uh, slightly different images or basically different designs as compared to someone else using the same set of templates, okay? So here, maybe let me just delete this and I'm just gonna hold down the shift key to, um, to select all three bouquets, Control D to duplicate, shift it down. Maybe I'm gonna group it so it's easier to maneuver and let me just rotate it like this. And we have a nice floral notes page okay so this is really pretty too actually something like this okay so i've basically removed the mushroom just using whatever i have duplicating the florals and then creating a new design as compared to what was originally prepared for you okay we've got lined notes here lines with lines and then we've got uh to do lists oh i just want to show you i did print them out um so can you see that right here this one is just a plain uh the plain notes okay i just printed it out right here this one has the butterfly uh the butterfly frame i also printed out the one with the um this one the to do list do you see that the fairy is really really pretty Okay, it's really pretty. I just used a simple HP DeskJet 3720. Um, and this is actually, uh, I think, ATGSM paper, which is okay if you're using like uh, notes pages and stuff like that. But if you're printing out like uh, cards, then you probably want to use cardstock paper, okay? But I just want to show you that it prints out really nicely the colors look really good okay and it's i'm just using normal printing i'm not even using like the more advanced or fine printing for on my printer okay so this one is the uh to-do list that you have it here as well so and if you want to change any colors like if you want to change the color of the lines you can just click and drag and then go to this and just change it to black or any other color that you want okay so now it's black and here this this strip of boxes stuck together is actually created using the table elements same thing you can choose the border color like this one if i want to change it to a different color there you go okay so you can do all that it's all customizable um let's see what else do we have we've got the daily planner okay daily planner We've got weekly planners, undated generic weekly planners, which makes it so versatile for you to actually just change out the designs or basically just sell it all year round, okay? And undated monthly planners as well, like this one, like here. So this one is also a table. So same thing, if you wanna change the color, just go to the grid and then you can choose a different color. You can even use the eyedropper function and let's say I wanna pick off a green from here. And there we go. And then if you want to change uh, the font color, text color, that's also possible. Okay, so I'm not sure why it's not changed, but let's just hold down the shift key to select all these boxes and go to this text color. And yep, now it's green. Okay, let's just zoom in. Now the words are in green and the grid is also in green. Okay, I like to use the eyedropper function pretty often because um, it actually picks up the colors from the graphics that you're using within the same project, within the same page, right? So that's an ongoing theme. And sometimes um, black might be a little harsh. So if you can pick off like some, the slightly darker shades of your graphics, it actually creates a really pleasant, uh, nice colored theme going on. And here, if you like, you can also move these 
forward if you find that this isn't taking up too much space some overlapping on top of the boxes might actually make more three-dimensional feel it could improve your design but really it depends okay or you can actually just shift it around so that or shrink it down so that it overlaps and yet uh, it doesn't interfere too much with the writing space okay so all these once again all customizable it's up to you to decide all right now they're in your hands you can actually choose to do them uh, any way you want it now these are actually three by five inch note cards okay i printed this out too um so the thing is i live in singapore and we use a4 paper a4 size paper instead of us letter size but in all honesty i don't think it's an issue at all you just in your printer settings just when you select print just like fit to page and something like that okay so no issues i actually printed them out right here but um i look at that the black is really uh, the black makes the flowers look really outstanding and i actually cut it out so these are these nice little note cards that's really pretty isn't it yeah so i've got these nice little note cards right here um and if you want to be more environmental friendly you can actually laminate them and then you can use uh like uh erasable markers and then use them okay so we've got lined versions um we've got blank versions same thing in the same design okay butterflies the the one with the mushroom house the fairy and <clears throat> the flowers okay i'm somewhat losing my voice that's not good but anyway here so we've got those notes cards and here this is a four by six inch greeting card okay once again i kept things generic because you can change it very very easily all you have to do is let's say i have a butterfly themed um birthday party or it's christmas or it's valentine's day and and i just want to add some words let's say happy valentine's day like this okay and just change the colors maybe to green effects maybe now i want change the sorry change the shadow i'm using the effects go to background so that it has a solid white background it doesn't interfere with the butterflies and change the background color to white and i can reduce the spread like this and there we go happy valentine's day so that's it you can change the words around and same thing okay so why did i have why did i add this the rationale behind it is this is a four by six inch greeting card template and because there's it's not a, there's not enough space to fit two cards right on the same on one us letter page so what i did was this this um rectangle here is also four by six inches so then this can be a little postcard right you can print it once again print it on cardstock paper or i think from at least 100 gsm uh you will get a pretty decent um a non-flimsy so I've actually printed this out as well. Look at this. This is this design. So we've got the fairies like this one. Okay, so this is this is this one. The one I'm holding my hand is this one. Look at the fairy. It's really pretty. Right? The colors are really nice. And I really love um what I did was I used the digital paper, the background that I created. Um, for the butterflies and then I reduce the transparency so it actually adds more depth and the de design to to it and then here I added an abstract just a simple white abstract shape so then you can actually use it as a postcard like I said uh, this is printed on 70 or 80 GSM so it's a bit flimsy but if you want to use it as a postcard you want to use um, a thicker paper okay and then it looks really pretty there's this white white space for you to write on it and here I um, on the same page I printed out this card as well so this is four by six inch so when you print out it looks like this and then you just fold it so this is like a very very sweet greeting card and once again you know like I don't know like friends little girls or you've changed the design out little boys they want to write to their friends you know friendship cards or however you want to call it it's, it's really pretty okay 
Um, this is just a blank template if you want to start from scratch without having to remove my graphics. So just use this, okay? Um, I have the margins on, so go to File, View Settings, and you can get rid of the margins and you have a cleaner look on this. Okay, so for um, the length of this rectangle over here is 8 and the height is 6. Okay, so when you fold it, it's a 4 by 6 inch card. This 4 inches, this is 6 inches, okay? Now this one is interesting. This one, um, this can be used to print out your uh, post-it cards. Oh wait, before I forget, I printed out the gift tags too. The gift tags are really pretty. Generic gift tags, but you know when you print them out, you cut them out, you tag them to your gifts, you can use the back to write your message too, right? So uh, generic evergreen makes it easy to sell all year round. Okay, you can even um, create like greeting cards, right? Or this could be double up as party invitation and you can have like a fairy themed party pack, okay? Giving you some ideas to, to, to uh, decide how to repackage and market this set of products. Here, this one, this is actually for you to print on post-its. So if you have three by three inch post-its, uh, which right now I don't yet, I don't have them, so I cannot demonstrate it to you, but what you do is you print out this page and then you stick your post-its on these squares and you feed them into the printer and then you choose the design and you print it out and then you can have very nice post-it notes. Okay, so if you wanna write inspirational message, once again, you can actually add text to it so you can use the same design and then you can just add text to it and then you can print out post-its as like inspirational quotes, okay? Very, very versatile because these are three by three inches, right? So these can also double up as three by three gift tags, okay? All you have to do is maybe add a circle, outline border weight of one, and maybe just white background. Now the border line, sorry, the border weight of one, not four. And then maybe just put it at a corner like this. And there you go. You can add words like happy birthday or some text. Okay, imagine this says happy birthday. And here, and this could be your gift tag or, you know, party favors and then just a little tag there. Okay, so these are different ideas for you. And we've got different sets of, um, here we've got the ones with the butterfly background. And because the original intention is to use them as post-it printouts, um, I, I left a lot of, I intentionally left a lot of white space in the middle. Okay, and like I said, you can actually change this out. You can make them into small cards. You can make them into gift tags. That's also possible. So that's it. Okay, that's it for this Fairies Printables pack. I hope you like it. I, like I said, I find them really pretty and I hope you like them too. And I also hope your customers will like it. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out uh, on my Facebook group or if you're my Canva Templates Vault membership um, member, and you have any questions about our products or the membership itself, you can also reach me via email, okay? Thank you so much for your time and I will see you around.